Today we are going to do a pantry refresh and organize. Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from The Farmhouse Mom, and today I'm going to take you into my pantry. I have been trying to reorganize this pantry for over a year. When I was uploading and editing all of my videos and clips, I noticed um, it was from April of 2023, and it is now May of 2024. So I have been trying for a while to get my pantry nice and organized because I generally make three meals a day from scratch. I need my pantry to be functional, but I also wanted it pretty. We've been living in our house for almost four years, so I kind of know where I want things, what things I use more frequently, and what things can be pushed away into a cabinet that I only get into every once in a while. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you what my pantry looked like before, the colors and the wallpaper that I chose to refresh it with, and the organization system that I have down that works for me. the painting done. I think I'm pretty happy with the color. And now I am going to organize and put everything in back. My idea is to have kind of the pretty stuff on this side and then the functional items on this side where you can't really see it from the doorway. So I started my organization by emptying my pantry of all of my dry goods. I left a couple of appliances and heavy items that I know um, work where they are. And I just put everything out on my counter so I can roughly group them together into my soap making supplies, my dry goods, things that I don't necessarily empty into containers. The things I do use every day, I generally empty into glass canisters. So this is the area of my kitchen where you usually see me. Obviously my island is filled with all of my pantry items right now. And then just kind of right off to the side is my pantry. As you come in, we have over to the right a shelving unit that was built in. And I have a can area, which I wanted built specifically. My grandma had one like that and I loved it. And then to the back here, underneath the stairs, I have another section where I keep appliances. So we've got our microwave, my Vitamix, and then also just kind of things that I pick up that I have a little pasta maker that I got. And I generally will keep my out of season aprons and other things. Here. So as you can see before the pantry was all white and I put this peel and stick wallpaper It's actually a reprint of an early 1900s pattern and it's called strawberry thief And I just thought it looked really farmy and really cute So for this area, I think it is finished. We've got our microwave with our microwave popcorn, our Vitamix, which I use almost every day, that I can just fill it in the kitchen. And yeah, make And make smoothies, yeah. Come yeah. in here and use it. And then I don't have to be picking that up all the time and it also doesn't have to sit on my counters. So underneath this little curtain that I actually just put up for you so you could see, but I'm not through um, hemming it. So <laughs> I just used a little Velcro stick and I still need to actually sew it. And underneath I have my extra wheat berries and bread and I'm storing my soap making supplies. So something that I use maybe once a month. 
And my can area is already organized, so there's no need to do anything there. We're going to move on to filling the shelf. There's 14 cans of pickles. Okay, I'm so excited for 14 cans of pickles. Okay, we're gonna put This bottom shelf I'm going to do all of my cheese making and baking type things like that my gelatin um, those type of items dried beans over here in the corner and on the second shelf so little munchkins can't get to them easily <laughs> will be chocolate chips sprinkles all of my baking items and also any guilty pleasure snacks that my husband has and on the top I'm gonna put all my dried beans my clays anything that I'm not using all the time and I has had my husband put a little plate rail here so I can put some of my china up there so to make sure it doesn't get chipped I have had my potatoes and my onions here forever ever since we moved in so I know that that works I'm going to leave that there. I really don't know where else I can put those items so I'm gonna put them there for now and I guess if I want to I could put something pretty there but it needs to be functional so I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna place a basket here in the corner for all of my overflow items because we probably will need to be going grocery shopping soon so let's take a final look I hope you enjoyed my mini pantry makeover and my reorganize. And I really think I have it down to where I have my most used items available at my fingertips to help keep the pantry clean and organized on a daily basis. Thank you guys so much for being with me today and I will see you soon.